it. We just happen to have a Jackson cruising by. We're loaded with those things over here, but just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, here's another build that we did. This is a giant anthem. Um, it's a couple years old. I can't remember for sure, but we picked it because of the, uh, the down tube angle um, for the motor not to hang down like such an udder. Kind of goes up there, gives you a little bit more clearance. It's got a 24 amp hour battery from Luna that we put some protection on, wrapped it, and squeezed it in the frame. It fits pretty good. It does have a dropper, uh, 29er, pretty much um, stock bike with the uh, 1000 watt buffet. And we got 110 millimeters of rear suspension, which is good just to take off some of that um, bumpy vibration, but not for heavy duty stuff. Over here we've got my uh, backup bike, which is a 2015 Scott 940 Aspect. This is kind of more my urban assault ride, uh, my backup bike. I let my kid ride it, he's 15. It's got a Luna Eclipse on there with the 1000 watt buffet as well. Um, good fun. Got the packs, got the rack, got the uh, Thud Buster um, seat post. So it takes some of the vibration. And you've probably seen this one in my other video. And the only, only thing I did to that was change out my 38 uh, tooth wolf, um, wolf tooth uh, front chain ring through on this 42 Eclipse. Uh, gives me a lot better chain line. So I can ride in those taller gears, no problem. And I did want to mention that on this bike and this bike, we did shave the bottom bracket down a little bit. Oh, that was almost a malfunction. And uh, to keep the uh, 68 by 73 millimeter buffet kit um, in there, so we could fit that in there, had to shave a little bit off the bottom bracket on both sides, and that's going to help reduce the Q factor for pedal strikes. So, anyways, there they are. And there it goes.